Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you ever been stuck trying to figure out what book you wanna read next? In this video, I'm gonna show you all of the blue books that I plan on reading for the month of September. If you're interested to see what books I plan on reading, then just go ahead and keep watching. All right, before we get started, please make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button if you're a reader too. I put out videos every week, usually on Saturdays, and twice during the month, they are book related. So have you ever been stuck trying to figure out what book you wanna read next? Or are you stuck reading the same genre book over and over and over again? Or do you use Goodreads or BookTube or BookTok to figure out the books that you want to read next? I was there. I am new to reading again. I typically haven't read that much over the last two or three years. As you can see here, I've tried the Goodreads challenge several years in a row. And you can see I only try to read a handful of books during the year. And even then I only read a couple of them. So I'm really starting to pick up my reading and I end up going to the same type genres. I usually like YA, the young adult or romance are usually where I, I stick the majority of my books at. So I wanted to figure out what books I wanted to read for the month of September. And I also wanted to see what else I could do to step outside of the typical books that I normally would read. So one day I just randomly Googled, is there a color for the month of September, 2022? And as you can see, there actually is. I went to the very first link that I saw and I'll definitely put that in the description if you'd be interested to see what the other colors of the remaining months of 2022 are going to be. And so I saw that for the month of September, the color is blue, typically dark blue, but I'm just using blue as the color I'm going to go for. It was either blue or brown. I decided I was only gonna focus on blue books this month. So let's go ahead and look and see the books that I found that I plan on reading for the month of September that have blue covers. So I only have two physical books in my current collection. I do plan on going to Second and Charles this weekend and I may end up picking up some more books, but I don't really know what books I wanna go and get. But right now I have two books that are currently with blue covers that I want to read for the month of September. The first book that I have is The Selection. Now this is a young adult book, so it's the same genre that I typically go for. I did actually see a video by Alexandra Roslin. I follow her YouTube channel. She said that this has Bridgerton vibes and I love Bridgerton series. I've pretty much read all of them with the exception of maybe two books, I think. So I'm really excited to read this. This is a series and this is the first book in the series. So not only does it have Bridgerton vibes, it also has like the Bachelor vibes. Essentially, this book is about 35 girls who are all competing to win like a prince's heart. I'm really excited to read this. I, this has been on my shelf for uh, several weeks now and I've just been dying to read it. So this is probably gonna be the first book that I read during the month of September. So the second book that I picked up that's actually a hard copy is China Rich Girlfriends. So this is the second book in the Crazy Young Asians series. I have not read any of that series, but I did read that this you can read as a standalone book. So this is a fiction book and essentially what it is is on the eve of the the main person's I think her name is Rachel. On the eve of Rachel's wedding, she starts to have like remorse or sadness that her birth father is not gonna walk her down the aisle. She doesn't know her birth father. And apparently there's a shocking revelation that draws her into the world of Shanghai Splendor. I don't know anything about this. I saw this at Second and Charles. Originally it got me because it says on the cover, snarky, witty, and funny. So I like all three of those adjectives and decided to pick it up. So this will be one of the books that I read for the month right. of September. So the rest of my books that I have are Kindle books. They're all Kindle Unlimited books as of now. I know sometimes they, they're not Kindle Unlimited after a certain time frame. So these are all Kindle Unlimited as of right now. The first book that I plan on reading that is a Kindle book is The Housemaid it is a thriller book by Frida McFadden. This is the second book that I've read by Frida McFadden. If you'd be interested to see what my review was on the first book that I read of hers, The Locked Door, I'll link it up above and I'll also put it in the description down below. I did a video on it. I wasn't overly impressed with that book. I definitely wanted to give the author a second try to see if I would end up liking her books and maybe it was just the story that I didn't like of the previous one. But essentially this one is about a woman who joins on this family as a maid and she comes to find out that there's secrets 
and I guess there's an attic that locks from the outside. And so it's her going through and trying to figure out what's going on with this family. The next Kindle book that I'll be reading is called Don't Fall Asleep. This is a thriller. It's essentially about a girl who goes into a sleep study. And during the sleep study, she has some vivid, violent dream in which there's a dying man and a bloody knife. And then she hears a voice basically saying that she killed him. So that's pretty much all that I know about this book. I'm really interested to see how it is. I think it had a fairly decent review on Goodreads and I've never read anything by this author before. So I'm really interested to see what this book's all about. The next Kindle book is Renegades. This is another series. It's book one of the series of the, I think it's called the Renegade series. This is a fantasy book and I'm kind of hit or miss when it comes to fantasy. Sometimes I really enjoy fantasy fantasy. Sometimes I just can't get into it. It's too much of like world building and the, the names of the characters are really hard to understand. So sometimes fantasy is really difficult for me to go and understand. But essentially this one, I think I'll actually really like. It's about a group of humans that have super extraordinary abilities, superheroes, and they're there to establish peace in order to their like crumbling world. And so it's basically like superheroes versus villains. And that sounds super cool. I don't know if you can see up here, I actually have a Wonder Woman statue that's propped up against some of my other books. And then I also have uh, pictures uh, Wonder Woman and Harley Quinn and I have other statues and comics and things like that so I really like the superhero aspect of it. I'm really interested to see what this book is going to be all about and if I'm going to like it I probably will end up picking up the rest of the series. Okay. The next book I'm going to read is Sense and Sensibility by Jane Austen. This is going to be the third Jane Austen book that I have read so far. I read two of them the month of August. I'm currently reading right now Emma and I read Pride and Prejudice earlier this month so if you'd be interested to see what the reviews are going to be on those two books then I think that video is going to come up next and you'll be able to see what I think about those two books. But I'm going to read Sense and Sensibility. And this book is about two sisters that are having difficulties, kind of struggles finding love. And one of the things of this book and in all of Jane Austen books, actually, because they're all written for like the 1800s and a lot of this, a lot of her books have the premise of how to find love in a society where status and money kind of rule all because you have like the different tiers and a lot of times you don't marry below your tier or if you do you marry below your tier but that person has to have enough clout to kind of go with that that marriage so plan on reading that and seeing how I like this Jane Austen. Book. Okay the last three Kindle books that I plan on reading surprisingly are all romance books. I did not intend for that. I just googled blue cover books. It took me to Goodreads. I actually had a, a, a link to blue covers and I just went down the line to see covers that interest me and these next three all ended up being romance. The next book I plan on reading in September is Risky Business. It's essentially a media manager who's a female who's having to, I think, who's having to manage a really famous heirs, all of the firestorm and all the drama that he's kind of putting out there. So she's there to try to rein it all back in and I think it's just them getting together, falling in love and a typical romance. The next book I plan on reading is Things We Never Got Over. This book has popped up as a recommended book on my Goodreads for several times. Every time I've logged into Goodreads recently, this has been one of the books that shows up. In addition to when I go to Kindle, it's there as well. I'm glad to finally get this over with so I can stop seeing this stupid book. This book is essentially about a sister who has to run home and, and save her twin sister from whatever chaos is ensuing. And when she gets there, she basically dumps the twin sister's daughter on the main character. The main character had no idea even that she had a niece and basically just drops her and leaves. And so it's a sister, she's got no car, she's got no job. Now she has a niece that she has to take care of. So it's her, I guess, trying to figure things out. And then while she's there, she runs into this man who his whole ordeal, his whole thing was he doesn't want anybody who has drama, high maintenance, he likes his solitary life. And so, you have the female that's got a life in chaos and then you have him that kind of just wants a, a quiet, peaceful life and it's probably gonna be there, them getting together and all of the stuff that happens. And then the last book that I'm gonna be reading is The Dare. This is, like I said, another romance book. And this one is, I don't know if I'm gonna like because I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but essentially it is a girl who gets 
a dare of from her friend or coworker, I think, and basically dares her to make the boss fall in love with her. I don't know how I like that because that seems very manipulative because going in, she doesn't have the feelings for the boss, but she's trying to make him have feelings for her. So I don't know how I'm gonna like it. I don't know how that's gonna go. That's gonna be one of my last books that I'll read for the month of September. And then like I said, I do plan on going to Second and Charles this weekend. So I may end up picking up some more books. And if they are books that with blue covers, I may end up also trying to read them in September, but I'm not sure. So those were all the books that I'm, I'm planning on reading for the month of September. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you so much for making it this far. I really would love to see this channel grow and meet with other like-minded readers and kind of share some of the books that you like and some of the books that I like so we can both broaden our reading horizons. So for those of you who are still here, thank you so much. Like I said, if you have been stuck trying to figure out what to read next, what have you done? Make sure, leave it in the comments. I'm really curious to see what you do when you're really struggling to try to figure out what you want to read next because I, I might incorporate that. Make sure you check out my next video, which should be the August book review, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!